Darbar Mag, a fashionable shopping street in downtown Kathmandu, was turned into a political arena for the day. Thousands of supporters of Prime Minister K.P. Oli's faction of the governing Nepal Communist Party came to the area in a show of solidarity and support. Many arrived from outlying districts. If the party can't work together, it's best to go for a fresh electoral mandate which we support. Oli was elected Prime Minister in February 2018 after his party won the legislative elections. He then formed a governing coalition with support from former Maoist rebels, becoming the first Prime Minister to be elected under the newly adopted constitution of Nepal in 2015. Nepal is in a political crisis as partisan politics and infighting within the ruling Nepal Communist Party has caused a major split. Both factions, one led by Prime Minister K.P. Sharma Oli and the other by former Maoist leader and Prime Minister Pushpa Kamal Dahal, appear headed for a showdown as they step up the political rhetoric and try to win support in their particular favour. The opposing faction of the governing party and opposition parties have been holding protests against Oli. That's after he dissolved parliament in December and announced new elections to be held in April and May. They say the Prime Minister's move is undemocratic and unconstitutional. The decision to dissolve parliament is a constitutional coup. We are protesting against this regressive move. Oli's actions have also galvanized civil society protests. His move is totally unconstitutional because this, uh, the new constitution we have of 2072 does not make for this kind of provision in which he can just come and dissolve the parliament just like that. There are certain procedures he sh should have followed before the parliament could have been dissolved. Oli's move is only the latest in the series of regressive moves that have been happening in this country since 2010. So we are against all those moves. Since both factions claim to control the governing party, the issue is being disputed at the election commission. Whether MPs return to work or the country goes to elections, it's the Nepali people who will likely be affected after giving the government a mandate to lead for five years by a comfortable majority. Ramya Limbu, Al Jazeera, Kathmandu.